Welcome back to Contractors, everybody. Yay, I like the PC. The PC version is beast. Um, the mods are great. Love the mods. Um, today we're going to do a little bit more of a run around. I'm not going to do any online because I, I, I'm only able to play during the week at times when no one else is on. Um, and I'm stuck in the Asia Pacific region, so I lag like hell if I play anywhere else. Um, but that's just the curse of being in Australia. Um, so we're going to do a run around and look at some of these new maps. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's jump in here. And we're going to go with... I think I want to show everyone D Inferno at first because, again, with the World War II loadout, we're going to buff it up to 12 guys. With the World War II loadout, this game looks phenomenal. It just matches so well. And, like, you may hate on the guns. Um, I've actually calibrated them now, so we're, we're in the zone. But um, it looks excellent. Look at this. There's a kind of a blue to the uh, shadows. Um, it's very cool. I'm just going to run around here. And we're going to spank this guy in the butt. Oh, he rolled. I thought the other guy died too. There we go. It looks fantastic. And again, we've got the seagulls going. and It's very consistent with the other levels you've seen. Um, there's one guy. Got him. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah. But yeah, look at these materials. They match up so well. And even the water looks pretty cool. The audio is a little bit clippy because of, um, well, that recent sound bug. Hopefully that gets fixed in the next patch. But yeah, the level looks phenomenal. Um, if you want to play, like, bomb defusal in World War II motif, this is your game. I mean, it's fine with the modern weapons, too. I just think the, uh, the fatigues just match up really well. I mean, look at these guys. Look at my dudes. Whoop, shot a little bit high there. That was my bad. There we go, headshot. Nice. Now we can run around the back here. This is bomb site A. I'm just going to bin that. And again, you've got, like, this 3D nature to all the levels. So we've got these long sight lines here that you can use. You can get over on the terraces as well on that bridge. Our guys are fighting down there. We're just going to run around down the back here and come out the side and then we can go and join my dudes for some shooting. They're everywhere. Get a shot on the side here. Come on, Charlie. We got him, boys. So yeah, this is DE Inferno. It looks amazing. Um, runs really well. Let's keep moving on. We'll run around with some uh, modern weapons now. Free run. Um, so there is a, uh, a modern warfare map pack here you may have seen in the mods. And what this is, um, is it's a way to try and combine textures between maps from the same game. So this way you get two maps and you only have to download the textures once, essentially. And so as they go through Modern Warfare, uh, porting the games across, they'll be able to combine the textures down into these packs, so you get more map for your megabyte, essentially. So that's a, that's a neat thing. And so that pack actually currently contains Pipeline and Shipment. And uh, we will run Shipment, and we will turn the numbers down. Down to, say, 3 on 3. Standard Weapons. Create. We're just going to load up and go. So this is actually a map where it's good. Wow, that was garbage of me. I've just been playing onward for a bunch, so... A bit rough. A bit rough. It's a very tight map. This is a map where it's... 
probably not a great idea to be using a virtual stock because especially if you're using long guns, you're gonna be shooting them across your body quite a bit. So you want that ability to freehand them. All right, there we go. And again, I've got the gun calibrated so it rests on my chin. And if you just pump the front hand and hold the back hand against your chin, um, you can get really good loads. So that's how I run the shotgun. It's very, very good. And you don't need a stock to perform quite well. Oh, got me. Oh well. We'll actually change up our gun. We might run around with a uh, with an ump. Do a bit of ump and run. Here we go. Good little gun, this one. And and you'll see, like it actually it actually does help to have a shorter gun for this. You just sort of freehand it around. You're just shooting from the waist. Like that, and it's quite fast reload as well. That, that was a pretty, pretty decent reload. As long as you don't use all the bullets, you never have to pull the bolt on it. And you can just run and gun. Oh, missed. <laughs> there we go. And you got these bags that are scattered around for. Um, Long distance is, of course, it's Achilles heel here. It gets a bit rattly. So this is shipment. It looks fine, honestly. I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that's shipment. It's a fun little match. Uh, match. Fun little map. That one. All right, and we'll actually have a look at the. Uh, what am I doing? We'll have a look at the other part of that map pack because it's like the opposite pipeline. We're gonna pump the numbers up. We'll make it five versus five, and we will create pipeline. Is a quite a large map built on the same textures essentially. Um, we are starting in the underground part of the tunnel. We're going to zoom through this little tunnel. And it's quite a good extensive tunnel. Actually, if we come out here, we've got this round pipe here. And you'll see, like, we mantle there. So this is that mantling I was talking about in the, uh, in the Onward video. It's good, it let you smoothly just move up as you would normally. I'm not sure if you can mantle up these. No, you can't mantle up those edges yet. This is a map that I would use a larger gun for. We're just gonna rock through the middle here. It looks lovely, um, like, not, not like a nice place to be, but it looks good anyway. Um, we can run up through this building there was a change that I requested be made, which was opening up the headroom over here so I can go through these windows without having to crouch. Um, hopefully that gets added in because it's uh, just a fun little thing of being able to sail through windows. Just use all the bullets. But I think if I go through here and crouch, I can, I can squeeze through. I, oops. You can't jump while you're crouching though, which is a problem. So we're just gonna leave now because it's gonna keep crowding in on me. And yeah, the baked shadows again look really good. They've been lightened up a little bit since last time. Um, I guess we can head off to the, towards the top of the map. There's still a little few areas where it's a bit dark. Um, this end of the map tends to be okay. There's more of a forest end of the other that needs a bit, a bit of brightening. But we will come down the main alley here main shooting gallery and you can go all the way back up there up on the hill um, around the corner and keep going yeah look at them under there 
Get him. I'm just going to go around the end here. Alright. And up here, yeah, you see up here is where it's a little dark. Like, I did not see that guy. I'm just going to run around the back of the forest here. These, uh, these forest shadows are just a little heavy. It completely obscures players. Which is going to be a bit of a nightmare in multiplayer. I'm still a little bit injured here. 60%. Wait, is that going down? No, it's going up 70. There we go. But yeah, huge map. They extend all the way down to here. You got this guard house, and then if we get up on this hill over here, you can see all the way down and through that alley we ran up through. And I'm not going to be able to hit a thing with this gun at that kind of distance. But yeah, awesome, huge, huge cool map. I can go around the back of the main building here. See, that guy was just so hidden. Once you get through to here, yeah, the shadows are a bit lighter. It's a bit easier to see what you want to see. I'm going to hop through here. Hop through here. I want these windows to be opened up a little bit as well. You currently can't quite fit through them. That's a shame. I want to be able to fly through those too. That'd be a lot of fun. But apart from that, yeah, it's a good looking map. It's got a bit of variety to it. A little bit of height, a little bit of cover. Well, let's uh, let's hop out and keep going. Lots of maps. So many maps. Look at all these maps. Look at all these maps that we've got. High rise. Let's look look at high rise. High rise is insanely cool. Um, I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 since the original time it came out. Um, and even then, I was bigger into Black Ops than I was ever into Modern Warfare 2. I know that's like <laughs> heresy, but yeah, it's a lot of points. It's a good map. I see why people like this game. Let's have a look down here. What we got? Again, this is this map has a couple of layers to it, and you can jump everywhere. It's cool. You can jump over all the railing, climb up onto all this stuff. You get onto these high areas, actually. Go all the way back through into this building here. Does this auto climb? I don't think. I don't think this modder has added the uh, all the little ladders in yet. Can't quite jump onto the uh, onto the barrels. You don't quite have the jump height, but it's very close. So that makes me feel like the jumping height is bang on with the uh, Call of Duty one. I'm gonna go in here a little bit. I can hear a lot of footsteps under me. I don't know if there's a way down. I assume we can go down the back here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're getting there. Dude. Uh oh. Yeah, I screwed that up. And then I ran into that bookshelf. Bookshelf. Oh, we were shooting at you, dude. Got him. Oh. That's my guy. What are you gonna do? Shotgun. Nothing. That's what. I think I hear a bad guy down here. Yep. So yeah, it's high rise. Um, it looks really good, and it, again, it runs really well. It's pretty well optimized on this. Out of the way, buddy. Um, big old map looks just like it does, like it should. Right, we can get down. Onto here, I think. We can definitely get up on this roof. If we go around the back, it's probably a ladder. So we go up on over here. Here's our ladder. Ladders work in this game. And then we can... And then we can... And then we can go all the way up here. And I've got the wrong gun for this. But we should be able to maybe jump... He's actually put little ramps on those. And then we can get into this little basket here and we can 
be all up here and doing stuff. Can I run along this ledge? Oh yeah. Can I go in this window? <gasps> no. Ah, oh, I fell off. I guess you can get get out there and. Whoa, there's something wrong with that guy's leg. He's okay. Wow, what's going on in here, guys? Whole bunch. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. My bad. Alright, that's high rise. What else we got? We got more. So much more. Uh, free roam. We got... Uh, Kill House doesn't have AI working at the moment. Uh, neither does World War Hangar. Favela you've seen because that's a good one. Showdown. Let's just do a real quick one at Showdown. Um, yeah, let's go. This is a smaller map. Pretty simple design. Um, looks pretty cool. Uh, it's got like an internal area with a couple of levels. And then you've got this external area. Like a ring that lets you run around. Again, you can go up a couple of levels. Oh, that guy got popped. I'm gonna go upstairs now. Oop. Get up there. No worries. And now we're upstairs. Clipped him. Yeah, pretty cool. Run around here. Jump off this. Go up this ramp. <laughs> you got a bit of bit of a bit of option here, yeah, bit of option. And you can get right down in the middle into the guts of it. Oh, oh nearly got me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh well. Um, I guess we'll just respawn for now. But yep, that's uh, that's showdown. Showdown looks good. Let's get out of here. All right, what else we got? It's all good, man, it's all good. I mean, we've seen District, uh, Crossfire, Countdown, Countdown's great. Yeah, let's jump in there. Look at this, we got the smoke from the silos. This is a very flat map, but um, it's got an interesting sort of uh, paintball field feel to it. Plenty of cover. If you can close in on people and flank them, you can uh, wreck their shit. Oh, I was out of uh, out of the What do we got? Foul. All right, let's run the foul. Not sure why. Is this one set up properly? Uh, it is not set up properly. Got to shift it around a little bit, but it's a longer range weapon. Oh! My hands are not spread out properly with that gun right now. Let's just go with the, uh, with the ump for a bit. Yeah, showdown looks fine. This is, this is solid. You got away. We've got what have we got around here? A little bit of grass. You can go around and through here. Woo! Feels a bit trippy because your face just runs into it. Yeah, there was a guy in there. Somewhere. But yeah, you can do some big flanks. We're doing a big flank here. There we go. There was a head in there somewhere. And then you can go rolling through this. Stroll through the gas. Shall we see what happens? What's down here? Oh, you can't die. It just lets you run over the top. Boo. I wanted to die. An environmental death. But yeah, again, see like how the enemy colors blend in really nicely with the motif. Like the tones are correct. Oh, I thought he was dead. Anyway, that's been a look at Showdown. Um, these COD maps are getting better and better as we go. 
And as new standards are being introduced for movement, like as you saw all the little uh, invisible ladders on Favela, um, that'll be expanded and extended to all the other maps, hopefully. Um, if we get a uh, concession going on, sort of like a community standard for how this is done. And then we'll have this lovely, logically consistent Call of Duty in uh, contractors look going on. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys get to download these soon. If you have the PC version, what's your excuse? You should be in here right now. And um, I'll see you guys next time when we might shoot some actual people. Who knows? Maybe we'll won't. Maybe we'll shoot something else. Bye.